Hello YouTube, it's Black Tiger Miner here. Welcome you guys back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. CASPA is going to take off. I got a lot of information to go over today and I might actually make a second video because there's a lot going on. So let me go through the numbers. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let's go. Remember, CASPA, CASPA, CASPA. So let's see here. If we go to the crypto bubble for today, CASPA is up 3.4%. And the last hour, it's down 2%. For the week, it's up 30.6%. So look closely here, guys. CASPA is the only thing up 30.6%. Cardano's not even on here. Or Cardina, whatever you want to say. It's not even on here. Of these bubbles, Caspa is the biggest. And for the month, Caspa's up 30 or 63.7%. So if we go to Live Coin Watch, Caspa's up 0.05% in the last hour, 7.43 in the last 24 hours, 32.1%. 1.8% in the last seven days and 61.68% in the last 30 days. And last 90 days is down 24.15%. And for the last year, it's up 11.2,000%. So if we compare that to Bitcoin, which is up 7,148%, and Ethereum 63.8%. 6,318%. Looks like Casper's ahead by leaps and bounds. Even in the 30 days, it's uh, almost twice as much as Bitcoin and maybe three-fourths as much as Ethereum. But at this point, this is the only thing I'm watching. Casper, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. I'm probably selling everything else and putting in these three. So for the next bull market, I think this is probably the safest bet. Current supply is 7.9 billion. Total supply is 28.7 billion. Max supply is 28.7. Total market cap is 779 million. And I can remember when this was like 600 last week. And the week before that, it was like 500 million. So as you can see, things are going pretty rapidly like we were telling you guys at some point it's going to start turning and when it does it's not going to stop last 24 hours it's up 7.72 percent uh 24 hour low is 0 0.025 24 hour high is 0 0.027 and i suspect before august i think we're going to be at 0 0.03 and someone mentioned 0 0.04. That's kind of a push, but we're going to keep watching it and see. So for the last 90 days, looks like in June, it was down to 0 0.013. And it's all the way up to 0 0.027. So things are definitely progressing. So as you can see here, let's look at the 12 months. So we're kind of close to this 0 0.031 what we hit in May. So it went down, it came up a little, uh, started to run a little bit, it retraced, and now it's coming back up. So I think the next point would be this 0 0.032, and then on to this 0 0.043 would be the all-time high. So if we look at the block explorer, uh, current supply is 19.6 billion. Uh, transactions per second is 0.8. Blocks per second is 0.8. Percent mined is 67.64%. Next reduction is 24 days to 185 cash block rewards. So latest price is 0 0.0266, trading 
trading volume in the last 24 hours is 15 million. Total market cap is 522 million. And current cap is current market cap ranking is 215, which is strange because if you look here, I finally found it. So on CoinGecko, it ranks at 82. And their market cap is 550 million. Current circulating supply is 19.6 billion. Total supply is 19.6 billion. Max supply is 28.7 billion. Total trade and volume is 12 million. And the fully disputed is 767 million. So it's weird that the two exchanges have such a different number. So if we see here, uh, coin market cap ranks it at 215. And it's up 4.43%. Bitcoin's up 2.90. And Ethereum is also showing the last day. It's been up and down, but it's staying pretty current above this 0.065%. And we'll look at the month. And see it dipped here. I guess this is last week. Uh, 0 0.02. And after the Fed announcement, it kind of started going up. So we'll see how that pans out. So for market cap is 520, 525 million. It's up 4.65%. Uh, total diluted market cap is 768 million. It's up 4.47 percent. 24 volume volume. Wow, it's up 15 million. So 27.51 percent. So definitely a lot of movement going on here. And something I did want to also point out. Um, shout out to Casper Silver. Casper Silver mentioned this, so I'm watching it with him. Uh, he mentioned in one of the videos that I need to go back and find that video at some point. So for addresses, top addresses, top 10 addresses is 16.97. Top 100 is 35.7%. And top 1,000 is 61.5. So if you look here for humpbacks, Yesterday, it was 100 million to a billion was eight. So it's down 12.5%. And today is seven. So I'm not sure what's going on. But he did mention something about um, one of these humpbacks is buying, I guess, up to 100 million and then sending it through the other wallets. I guess helping with the uh, decentralization. So if you see here, uh, fish is at four or 0.4 and dolphin 100k to 1 million is up 0.4 sharks is up 0.5 and whales is up 0.5 and i did ask for people to let me know where you're at and someone did mention there was a dolphin so shout out to the dolphin keep holding and uh, i'm still in this 100 uh 10k to 1k so at some point maybe i'll get over 100k which would be awesome but let me know in the comments if you guys are holding and how much you're holding. And if anybody knows about what's going on with this humpback uh, situation. And I think we did this for CoinGecko. Did we go over this? So for CoinGecko, it's showing rank at 82, number 82 versus um, where are we at? versus these guys said rank 215. So someone mentioned there's a different exchange they're calculating from. So for market cap is 530 million. Total trading volume is 12.6 million. Diluted, fully diluted valuation 767 million. 
Kirkland supply is 19.6 billion. Total supply is 19.6 billion. And max supply is 28.7 billion. So as I've been saying, things have been crazy taking off lately. So I want to show you this. This is uh, this Jim Slybum. I'm not 100% sure how to say this guy's name. But he's saying, so the yellow line, uh, fraction from Cardano's one from 0 0.02 to $3 USD. Uh, ADA's market cap from where it took off was a fraction similar to Caspa around at around 600 million to 700 million. The price is similar because of the supply. So it's saying Caspa's here and it could go from here to $3, right? And this is the run, I think, from, I guess this is 0, .0 it's got to be maybe 0.05 because this is 0 0.04 and that was the all time high. So I think we'll have a run, push past the top, push past the all time tie. Sorry, we'll have a run, push past the all time high, kind of retrace some, uh, come back up, get some retracement level out, come up a little bit, dip down again, and then we're off to the moon. So let me know your comments about this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this is valid or if this is just these guys hyping us up. But also for Caspa, we have a new listing. We are live on Bitpanda Global. You can now buy Caspa on Europe's leading retail broker for buying and selling digital assets. Fast, easy, and secure. You can trade Casp at bitpanda.com be your own bank pow <laughs> and then there was also this i was looking at so this kind of the same thing uh i think there's no need to say more casper to show that casper is simply brilliant cas will be the number one gainer among top 100 cryptos for a long time the next few months will open eyes of many doubters so it says here, Caspa is 81. So this is the last seven days. It's up 26.3% total market cap of 532 million. And this is on CoinGecko. And this is also CoinGecko. I think this is the same information. Now this is 24 hours. 24 hours is up 11%. Uh, 0 0.027. So I think we're going to bust that 0 0.03, I'd say tomorrow or definitely this week. So let's keep an eye out for that as well. I think we went over that one. Let me see. We talked about this. So I'm going to create a, another video for some other information I found. But this is Black Tiger Miner signing out. Remember, Caspa, 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 and let's get back to the money. Happy Friday Eve, guys, and I'll see you soon.